Chancy boy. What's going on? Hey, how you doing ladies and gentlemen? The time is 10 to 10. No, 5 to 10. And um, I've just come home from working in the kitchen. Uh, but I thought I'd give you all a quick update. I do have some footage in the bag of uh, previous bits of the build. Uh, but I'm not going to put it in this video, it'll probably be in the next one. Uh, but I'm going to give you a quick rundown of what we've done. So we've taken this giant lintel out, I've got some footage of that. Um, I had to smash a scaffolding pole up through the uh, ceiling to get this bad boy down. So you'll have to wait for the next video to see why. And then in the kitchen, there was a huge um, lintel across here as well. And a huge lintel across there. And as you can see evidence of scaffolding pole damage between both of them so I use the same technique to get these down and this one up here I think weighed close to 400 kilograms so it was quite a difficult thing to get maneuvered out of the way so into the porch section which is now going to be uh, part of the kitchen hey oh, oh Reginald it's little Reggie oh you brought me a ball my friend yeah, this down here is going to be utility. This side here and all of this looks quite big, doesn't it, from this angle. All of this is going to be kitchen. The This wall's going. That was the outside wall of the building. So you can see how tiny our kitchen was and now how big it's going to be. Upstairs we've got lavatory plumbed in. We've got bath plumbed in. We've got shower plumbed in. No, we don't have bath plumbed in yet. Bath's coming through that hole there onto here. And then all of the services are going to be in the utility room on the wall. We're on the boundary, so we can't put them on the outside because they'll basically be over our boundary line. So they're inside, but they're all going to be kind of boxed in, but accessible. And uh, we've got an air admittance valve on the top there to prevent any smells leaking into the building. But it allows air to go in to prevent any siphons and whatnot in the uh, soil pipes. Temporary toilet there, downstairs, which is what we had while we demolished the flooring upstairs. I'll just take you around the corner and show you that the external wall of the building is completely gone. That's just the internal brickwork here. And then this is staying because it's where the lintel's sitting on. You can just make out there, I haven't got any lights over here. You can just make out a bit of brickwork and the outside wall. So let's go around this way. This will be blocked off eventually, and the, I'll be standing here. I would be in an, a downstairs shower room, which we're going to use to wash the dogs. Well, there's the little dodgy toilet. Uh, porch, we need to plasterboard this roof. I need to fix these joists to the steel and put some noggins in. Need to just plasterboard the hall doors and windows and whatever else. This wall just needs plasterboarding. This wall needs removing to this cast in place pad stone. So we're going to be coming down about a brick and a half. And then the staircase here will then open up. So we'll have like a quarter circle staircase on the bottom instead of these horrid angles. So if we go up the tired old stairs not done anything with these stairs since we moved in oh, 13 years ago I'll turn the lights on so you can see that the bathroom wall would have been there the external wall would have been there this would have been the toilet where this light bulb is the bath and everything was in here you can see where I've ripped all the tiles off the wall so new floorboards in hello if I take a look, this is the main uh, bedroom, or it will be, and the new flooring over all this section here stops at this wall. So what we're going to do in Dominic's bedroom, he's having this piece of flooring here. So the floor's at a slightly different level because we've had to go over the steel there. So these floors are... The level change is going to happen behind a stud wall, so it'll not be a problem. But what we're going to do is put up a, a stud wall here and return on that little bit there. And then I can finish this room off 
And then at a later date, we'll be knocking that wall down and then Dominic can come into this section, which gives him about the size of a single bed extra in that bedroom. And then we've got three reasonably sized bedrooms and uh, everyone's happy. Now, this is the back of the bathroom wall and we could, I say, there's enough room here for an ensuite and we could use all of the services for the shower there to serve an ensuite, a shower and a toilet if we wanted to. But considering it's just there, I don't think it's going to be required. But we've got loads of space in here. It really is quite a big room. It's like, it's it's almost five metres by four and a half metres. So that's a pretty big room. And then if we go into the shower, because we've taken the toilet down, you can see the progress that we've made here. I am actually really happy with this. So we've got most of the floor down and that was so I could lay the shower tray. We could get the shower, shower head and start the tiling and everything. And then we could get the sink in. The bath is the full width of the extension. Well, it's just a bit smaller actually. The extension is 16 something. This is a 1500 bath. So I just need to finish plumbing that in. We've got a nice toilet and sink set and baths. All of this actually came from Victoria Plum. I opened up a trade account and got 5% off, so it's something worth doing. Um, these tiles are from B&Q. Uh, they don't have many of these cream trend tile metro tiles left in stock, but I think they've got just enough for us to finish. We're going to this height all the way around the room. And then what we're going to be doing is painting the top half and the ceiling. I'm not sure what to do about the window reveals. What do you think, guys? So I'm thinking the floor tiles can go in the window as window sills. I don't want MDF window board in here, and I don't want the horrible PVC cover board in here either. So I have to figure out what we're going to do with that. So the door's hung. Um, I've just got to finish this tiling up here to where the threshold's going to be, and we've got to finish a door frame on this wall so we've just got a temporary little lock while we use it and then I've got a plasterboard this section which is kind of cut out from the wall that's the old external wall of the building this is the internal wall that carries a steel and the stringers for the staircase as you'll see just there so the crack is we send all our services through here you see there's a gas pipe there some electric cables coming through here is the shower cable for instance and then all this can sit behind that wall there and not be a problem. I've been today and bought some down lights. So I've got some fire rated IP65 dimmable down lights to go into the bathroom. Reggie's sniffing a shower. Uh, the bath connector there, that's the waste connector that needs to go under the bath. But yeah, as I was saying, dimmable lights in here so we can have a bit of mood lighting when, when the... Uh, well, when it takes our fancy, shall we say. And the bathroom and toilet suite now is around four times the size of what we had before, which, honestly, it's like being on holiday with the walk-in shower rather than stepping into a bath. Oh, it's so good. Um, and, yeah, I can't take you outside and show you anything out there because it's night time, I'm afraid, so it's a little bit dark. So what I'm going to do is, uh, yeah, I've got no shirt on, so I'll not do the full frontal. Um, I'll say that's it for this vlog, I think. And um, before I do go, I would just like to briefly apologise to uh, Rob and Amanda. Uh, to Rob for not doing more videos, of course. And to Amanda for being so shit at getting in touch with her. I promise um, I'll send you an email at some point next week when I've got a bit more time on my hands. And we'll get this accounting year put to bed and talk about the brewery tour and everything else that we've got promised for you. So off the back of that, I'm going to say cheerio and uh, we'll see you on the next video. So keep liking, keep subscribing, as they would say on Harry's farm, because this is Harry's extension. Um, because there are more videos coming on soon and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.